What's the temperature? Right now, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Remember a couple weeks ago when it was 90 degrees and I was at the beach? Yeah. <laughs> the weather the last like week or so has just been so gloomy, raining on and off, it's been cold, and the weather has definitely been affecting my mood. I just feel like the last few days I've been very irritable. Do you ever get like that where you're like, Usually it doesn't last this long. Usually it'll just last like a day max where I'm just like very irritable and every little thing just pisses me off. And I just don't feel like being around people. Like my senses are very heightened. Like I just get very easily overwhelmed and I just want to be left alone, quiet. And I just hate this feeling. Like I just feel like such a mean, angry, miserable person. So I was like, let me turn on the camera, let me vlog. Sometimes, you know, like vlogging has kind of become therapeutic for me, so maybe that's what I need. I'm also getting my nails done this morning, so hopefully that will put me in a better mood too. And then after that, I am gonna go work out and I'm hoping that just getting a good sweat in and like letting out my frustration with my workout will also help but i'm making a quick lighter breakfast i'm just gonna do one egg on a slice of toast it's many hours later i got my nivea cream on for the night <laughs> I took a nap earlier after I got back from the gym. I had dinner, showered, washed my hair, and now I just refilled my water cup and I'm watching Firefly Lane and I'm starting to feel better. And I love my nails also. The color, it's from DND &D and it was called Minty Mint. I'm hoping that I will just sleep well tonight and then feel 100% better by the morning. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a chill night. It is almost nine o'clock already. So I'm gonna just watch this for like another hour or so and then try to get to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good boy. Good morning. It's the next day. I am feeling a lot better. I spent the morning doing some computer work and I think that was contributing to how I was feeling too. I think I just had a lot going on. Like I was thinking about it the other day and I went two weeks straight of not having a single day to just be home. Like I was constantly out of the apartment doing things, whether it was work related or just like social things. I am the kind of person that I need to have at least one day a week where I stay home. Don't leave the apartment, don't interact with anyone. Like I need that time to recharge my social battery, but also to just like get things done, clean, take care of computer work, respond to emails, those little things that, you know, if I'm like running around out and about doing things, obviously those things get put to the back burner. I had like a whole to-do list of things that were just kind of piling up and I think that was making me feel overwhelmed, which was then like triggering my irritation, you know? So I had been like slowly working on getting things taken care of and now like the emails that I had to respond to, some things I had to submit, that was like the last thing on my to-do list that was just kind of like nagging at me. And now that I got that done, I just feel so much better. Like my apartment is clean, everything is taken care of. I don't have any pressing things that I need to do. I have clean, freshly blown out hair. Like I feel finally like caught up and it's just taken so much pressure off of me. And now I just feel like whew, more zen, but I'm about to give Benny his 
morning dental chew. Whenever I show him in my vlogs, I always get compliments on like how well behaved he is. And I get questions like, how did you train him? Do you have any tips? And I am not an expert by any means. We had family dogs when I was younger, but like when I adopted Benny as a puppy, he was really my first dog and I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So I just watched a lot of dog training videos on YouTube. And even actually before I ever brought him home, like once I got the idea in my head that I wanted to adopt him, I was just watching videos like crazy and I was just getting like so excited learning and preparing and there's one channel in particular Zach George I love his style of dog training his videos are amazing like and he is just I just love his personality I learned everything from that man everything all of the like training techniques and everything is all from him and he's all about like positive reinforcement I never punish my dog I've never used shock collars. I've never like, you know, when a puppy has an accident in the house and people will like push their nose in the pee, like none of that. I just started working with him literally actually the first night that I ever brought him home. I have a video of it. I taught him how to sit and speak literally in the first night bringing him home. Come. Sit. Good boy. Benny, speak. Good boy! It's just been a lot of routine. They really rely on routine. And like my schedule is not this. Sorry, he's sitting here like just waiting, begging for this treat. Let me give this to him first. Can you lay down? That's very good. Can you roll over? Ooh, he's so good. That's a good boy. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Wait. So cute. You're such a good boy. Okay, good boy. But yeah, like I was saying, they really rely on routine. So even though like my schedule, every day does not look the same, but it's become our routine that in the morning after we come back inside after our first walk regardless of what time that is sometimes it's at 6 30 in the morning sometimes it's not till 10 or actually today right now it's 11. so doesn't necessarily matter the time of day but he knows like okay after we take our first walk when we come back inside he gets one of these like things like that just knowing like okay this happens and then immediately after this is what's gonna happen or like when we go to the dog park he knows after we come home from the dog park he knows that he's dirty and filthy and that means he's not allowed on mom's bed just being like consistent but definitely i highly recommend zach george and i would start with the basics like sit and stay because from there then you can like build off of that and teach them everything else and just constantly reward and practice too. I never give him anything without making him do some commands first. Even when I just give him his regular food, like I make him practice like stay, wait, lay down, whatever, because you need that consistency. You need to constantly, like you can't just teach him how to do a trick and then that's it. Like you have to keep practicing it every day and some days they'll be like more on it than other days but you just have to have patience and just remember that they're little babies and they don't really know any better it's easy to like lose your temper and get frustrated ultimately it is your dog it's your responsibility it's a choice you made to get a dog so it is totally on you the way that they behave it's your job to train them and give them the time and the attention that they need and if you can't give that to them then you shouldn't have a dog when i made the decision to adopt him i knew that it was going to be a really big decision like so many people i think just get dogs because the, they're like oh it'll be so nice to have a companion or oh it's so cute but it's like having a child in a lot of ways like it's a 24 7 job and you know <laughs> he's just sitting here 
you're watching me listening. Are you just a little child? Are you my little kid? Are you a lot of work? <laughs> Something that I do not take lightly, but I really appreciate um, all the nice comments that I get about him when people tell me I've done a good job with him. That really makes me feel good, so thank you. Get your bone. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, your bone. Good boy. Good boy. That's the other thing too. A lot of repetition. I got him that bone a few days ago and I constantly was like, bone? Your bone? Bone? Over and over and over and over and over. Now he knows that that's his bone. Oh, so update on the extensions. I really love how full my hair is and it's so pretty when I just let it air dry. I blew it out the last couple times just because it's easier to deal with and it just stays, you know? Once I style it, it's good for like the rest of the week. But when I wear it natural, I've talked about this before, like even before I got the extensions, just wearing my naturally curly hair, it just can be higher maintenance because especially like the top layer will kind of get frizzy. So then every morning I have to like re-wet it and reapply product. Meanwhile, when I blow it out, I take 10 minutes to blow dry it and then it's literally good and I barely even have to brush it, you know? Like it's just, it stays, so it's easier. But yeah, these extensions match my natural curly texture. So when it air dries, it just all blends and looks really natural, which I love, especially in the summer, like when I go to the beach and stuff, it's gonna be so pretty. I like that I have the versatility with this to change it up and just kind of style it however I would my real hair but yeah I do love like how much fuller it is and it looks so nice and the hair itself literally feels softer than my own hair it's like buttery soft it's so nice and you can't even tell what's my hair and what's the extensions because it is all the same length but I will say it's itchy like the wefts up here and like the beads it's a little annoying so we'll see. I mean, I've had the extensions now for a little over a week. Today's Tuesday, Sunday made <clears throat> a full week since I got them installed. We'll see as time goes on and as they like kind of grow out a little bit, if it becomes less itchy, but I don't know. It's a little annoying, but it's not all the time. I feel like it's mostly just if I'm like laying back and the hair is like pressed against my head but yeah i don't know i mean so far i'm really happy with them though and i feel like that's the only con that i have and i feel like there's way more pros i'll continue documenting my thoughts and my experience with them as time goes on and then eventually i will do a full separate video and really like share everything but i just want to you know keep it real with you guys because extensions are freaking expensive. So I just wanna make sure anybody that's like considering it, they really know what to expect fully before making the commitment. I am just adding some curls or well, waves really. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I do work at the salon, um, just doing a front desk shift this evening but I also need to film the last part of that blow dryer tutorial, which by the time you're seeing this vlog, it'll already be up. But I got the Amazon blow dryer that's supposed to be a dupe for the Dyson. And I tested it out over the span of a few weeks. And now I just kind of need to film like an outro and final thoughts portion. So I'm gonna do that and then depending on how much time I have, there's a couple other videos. I have like a whole list 
of like sit down video ideas. I'd love to be able to film at least one of them, but I also have pest control coming today to come spray in my apartment. And I really don't want to be like in the middle of filming when the guy shows up. And I don't know what time exactly he is coming. So I'm hoping he'll show up soon. So then that way we can just get that out of the way. I haven't had any issues at all, thank God, with bugs in my apartment for a very, very long time. But that's just kind of part of like living in the South and living by the beach. You gotta kind of have pest control, do maintenance to keep everything away. Cause like, you know, there's the water bugs and spiders. And lately there's been a lot of wasps outside and actually on my balcony, it looked like some wasps were trying to build a nest. Cause I saw a few out there and I was like, um, excuse me, I don't have any plants or anything out there to be attracting them. And then I saw like in the top corner of my balcony, there was like, a little like clay like it, it was like the beginnings of a nest so i waited till the two that were trying to build it flew away and then i knocked that shit down <laughs> and they haven't been back since but i have just been seeing them in general like out and about the pollen has been really crazy here lately too but yeah so i just like to have them come and like my building provides pest control to us totally for free so they come to the property every single week no matter what and then you just let them know if you want them to come and spray your particular unit so i have them come like once every three months just to do like a routine spray and it's been helping i haven't had any issues there's the hair yeah that's all the hair and i just love that like i can pull it forward and have all this in the front I feel like before the extensions i would do this but then this would be literally all the hair in my entire head now i still have all this in the back so yeah it just adds that little extra fullness and Oh, just feels nice. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and change my shirt and then get to filming. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Today's Tuesday. I was like so nervous and killing time. So I'm like, I don't know what time the pest control guy is gonna get here. And I don't want him to show up when I'm in the middle of filming and have to stop and like, it'd be awkward because I have my stuff all set up. And then I just remembered, they come on Wednesdays and it's freaking Tuesday. I'm like, my days are all confused. I literally had everything set up, but then I was like, Ugh, I don't know. And ugh, I'm stupid. Okay. I'm just gonna set everything back up. <laughs> I literally turned the camera on to be like, yeah, so I wasn't able to record my videos, but no bitch, like you definitely can and i have an hour till i need to leave to go to the salon well that's a relief because i was like oh this is really annoying because i'm already ready and i have the time but yeah let me show you my little setup literally everything that i use all of my equipment and everything is from amazon so i think i have everything linked down below in all of my videos but Definitely check that if you are also like wanting to start a channel and want some equipment. I've been doing YouTube for a very long time and I feel like I finally got it down to basic, like bare minimum things, but stuff that's still like really good. So I've been filming in my living room and I really like this bookcase and like how this whole little corner looks. That chair is from Target, bookcase is from Ikea, that basket is Amazon, this dresser is Ikea, home goods, Target, essential oil diffuser, Target. But yeah, I just sit in this chair and I just turn it a little bit so that way like that's in the background and then I can get a lot of natural light from the windows. And then I have this light that's from Amazon that I just put over on this side to kind of balance 
the light because obviously all of the natural light is just coming from one side so that way it doesn't create too much of a shadow on my face I put this light here this is really bright so I put it all the way on the other side of the room so it's not too harsh and then I have this mic stand for my external microphone which is right here again also all from Amazon and I like this because I kind of feel like I'm recording a podcast and it also really helps with the sound quality. Like one time I was recording a video and they were power washing the outside of my apartment. It was so loud, but I had to record a video. And with this microphone, you literally could not hear any of the noise from outside. It was perfect. And then this plugs into my camera. And then this is the tripod that I put my camera on. So I just stick it in that corner there. And then I do have a separate lens because the one that I have on my camera right now is just like a good versatile lens it's the one that came with my camera so I just use that for vlogging but for the sit down videos I like for it to be a little bit crisper and I like that more like blurry background so that it looks more like in focus so this is the Sigma um, I'll link it down below the 30 millimeter I don't use this for vlogging though because it's pretty zoomed in and you can't zoom in and out so this is like just for the sit down videos and then I just make sure that I have like a new battery fresh memory card so that I don't have to stop in the middle of the video that's the worst is if the battery dies or like I run out of space on my memory card and I have to stop in the middle so I like to make sure everything's good to go so that way I can just sit and record the whole way through okay video is done that was perfect timing i am just going to make a quick protein shake and then head to the salon i kind of wish i had off today because now i feel like on a roll and i just want to keep getting stuff done this is why i usually try to have like separate days because even though i only work part-time at the salon it's not like i'm there all day so technically i could do youtube stuff on the days when i'm working at the salon too like i have time to do both but once i start with video things like whether it's editing or filming or whatever i just like get in the zone with it and it's so hard to just have to stop what i'm doing and then like flip back into reality. So usually when I'm gonna be doing YouTube stuff, I just do that on like separate days when I don't have to be anywhere else. So I can just stay home and focus on that. Cause it's really hard. I think any like creative thing that you're doing, it's hard to like, once you are in the middle of it and you start going to have to just stop yourself and then like go leave and do something else. Cause then like, my mind is still on the creative stuff. Like it's hard for me to focus and like be in the moment interacting with people. But anyway, I have spinach, coconut milk, protein powder, powdered peanut butter, and cinnamon. I'm gonna blend this up and then bring it with me to the salon. That's just gonna be kind of like my late lunch to hold me over while I'm working, because I'm probably gonna be there till at least eight o'clock, maybe 8.30 possibly. It looks like it's gonna be a later night. And then by the time I get back here, take Benny out and all that. It's gonna be a while before I can have dinner, so. Oh my God. Hello. It is currently Friday. I worked really early at the salon yesterday and today and my battery's dying great please hold i just feel so tired now but it's okay pulling it through i still feel like i have some energy you know so i'm trying to just hold on to what i got because after tomorrow i will have the entire week off my friend is coming to visit i'm just gonna hang out with her I can sleep in as late as I want and it's gonna be a nice little break so just got to keep pushing through but I had some errands to run after work today so I actually stopped at Ulta because I was watching Alexandra Rodriguez learning to be fearless she put this on her lips while she was getting ready and I was like oh 
my god. She used um, a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner, which I actually have on today. I love it. Um, and then she put this on top, and it was the most glossy, juicy, creamy, delicious looking thing ever. I immediately had to pause the video, pull up the product, and then I had it saved on my phone, and I was like, tomorrow after work. I'm stopping there and I'm getting it. But this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Peachy Beige, exact same one she had. And I swatched it in the store. It looks very beautiful. So yeah, I'm definitely going to put that on later. I also needed groceries, so I stopped at Trader Joe's. I got some orzo. I've been on a chicken soup kick, so. I got this to throw in there. I got a white onion, also for the soup, chicken broth for the soup. Then I got this buttermilk protein pancake mix, which I have never tried, haven't heard anything about this one specifically. This is the Trader Joe's brand. A serving size makes two pancakes, it's 140 calories and 10 grams of protein and three grams of fiber. Then this, dog treats. I got these like last minute because I figured he deserves something nice. Look what I got you. <gasps> okay, sit, wait, gentle. Very good boy. Then I got some great tomatoes, Prosecco. Ooh, I'm excited about this pumpkin cheesecake. This was like a very random last minute thing, but I saw it and I was like, mmm. That sounds delicious, and because my friend is coming in town, I thought I would get it so that we could try it together, because she loves cheesecake, as do I. Then I got some asparagus, broccoli, frozen shrimp. I also am planning on doing like a stir fry situation. I'm thinking garlic, onion, the asparagus, broccoli, tomatoes with the shrimp. And then I could either have it with some protein pasta or over rice. Eggs, hold to the cone. Then I got some chicken breakfast sausage, brown turkey, and sweet Italian chicken sausage. Then I got two more of <clears throat> the designer way protein powders. And then I just got some little red potatoes and then lastly I got some flowers because I have a vase on my coffee table with eucalyptus in it but it's starting to just look like a little bit too dried out we're gonna swap that out I'm gonna put this stuff away first and then I want to go to the gym I mean I don't want to I really would love to just stuff my face and lay on the couch and take a nap because I just feel so tired and I'm so hungry. It's two o'clock and I haven't eaten anything yet today, which I know is not good, but I just haven't had a chance. I've been nonstop all day, but I'm trying to stay on track. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna eat a little something and then see how I feel. And then later tonight at six, my friend, invited me to dinner, so I need to get everything done before then. And I also, my hair is starting to feel a little greasy. I mean, it's not too bad, but thinking I might wash just like the top layer of it. So I'll show you that when the time comes. showered i didn't wash my hair though I just put it in a bun on the top of my head because i don't want to 
wash all of it and wash my extensions because that's just a whole big production and I don't really need to do that. That's what's nice about having extensions and the one thing that I did miss about having them because back in the day, like, extensions were my life. I always had them. Obviously, like, the top is starting to look kind of greasy and it just doesn't feel great. So I am going to just wash the top half, like the top layer of my real hair that lays over the extensions. So you can see the extensions are here. This is what I'm going to wash. All of this I'm going to just leave and I'll just dry shampoo that after but since this top layer is what lays over everything else as long as this is clean everything else will seem clean too i'm actually gonna go do this in the kitchen because i have the hose on the faucet and that'll be way easier than trying to do it in the tub so yeah i'm just gonna wash this top part of my hair There we go. Now all I have to do is blow dry and style this top half. I'm going to spray some dry shampoo throughout the ends, but I'm going to actually do my makeup first really quick. I'm going to take some Kenra dry shampoo and I'm going to spray this like throughout my extensions but this is good to do because I mean not only is it a nice time saver but it also will help your extensions last longer because you really don't want to be washing your extensions too too frequently because that will just cut down on their lifespan but i'm just going to throw a couple quick curls in it just to touch up because like the extensions still have a little bit of wave to them but they're not looking fresh i'm actually really looking forward to going out tonight because it's been like really cold the last couple of weeks which is annoying because it got so hot and then it just felt like a total tease but um it's really warm and nice out today and i think even this evening like the low is supposed to be in the 60s going and working out i'm so glad that i went and did it because i feel so good right now like i have so much energy and i know if I had just stayed home and sat my ass on the couch, I would have fell asleep a hundred percent and I would have been feeling so sluggish and I might not have wanted to go out anymore. So I'm glad that I did that. And it feels good to like tell myself I'm going to do something and then actually follow through with it. Okay, so I'm going to do Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. You just push it up, I think. Yeah, there we go. It's going. Oh, it feels so good. 
how juicy do my lips look? Oh, that color is so pretty. Again, this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Peachy Beige. I'll link it down below. Got it at Ulta. It was like $24. Here is my outfit. I'm trying to decide if I want to just do sneakers instead. I have my cowboy boots on. And I wish that this dress was more of like a midi length. But it's so long on me that you literally can't even see my shoes anyway. So I think I might change into my New Balance sneakers. Because... I mean, these boots are comfortable anyway, but, like, sneakers obviously would be even more comfortable. So, because now I'm like, eh, no matter what shoe I have on, you're not going to be able to see them. So, I may as well just wear sneakers, and it'll just make it more casual. But, yeah, I have to link this dress for you guys. It's from Amazon. It has, like, built-in shapewear, and it's really comfortable. It's, like, the most stretchy, soft, amazing material. You don't have to wear a bra with it. The straps are adjustable. It also comes in a long sleeve version as well, and I think in a shorter length too, but this is obviously, you know, the long version. I got it in a medium, and it is just the most flattering. It's like a dupe, I think, for the Skims dress, and then this crop jacket is from Zara. I just threw on some hoops from Ana Luisa, these two, um, like, dainty chains also from Ana Luisa. If it's all still available, I will put links for you guys and my discount code that I have with them. I gotta go though. I feel so bad. I feel like every time I meet them out anywhere, they always get there before me. Bigger. 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 Bigger.